pumpkin. I'm looking forward to your arrival on Halloween night. I hope you will bring me lots of presents. This is the time of year to write to the great pumpkin. On Halloween night, the great pumpkin rises out of his pumpkin patch and flies through the air with his bag of toys for all the children. You must be crazy. When are you going to stop believing in something that isn't true? When you stop believing in that fellow with the red suit and the white beard who goes ho, ho, ho. You must get discouraged because... Oh, it's me, I'm dying. My race is run. Why did I let Charlie Brown take my blanket? I've got to get my blanket back. Snoopy, up to you to help me. I just gotta have my blanket back. I don't know what's happening to me. Maybe you could come with me to find Charlie Brown and get my blanket back. My blanket, Charlie Brown. My blanket. I can't be without it. After I gave you Mr. Chairman, teachers, and fellow students, this will be my last speech before our election. I want you to know well, I have enjoyed this campaign, and it has been a pleasure to meet so many of you. And I have appreciated your support. Therefore, I have a little surprise for you. And as a change of pace, rather than campaign talk, I decided to say a few words about the great pumpkin. How That's the only trouble with tennis. You can't play it alone. Maybe we won't get to play tennis at all. The courts are all full. The courts are always full with big kids. And they never let you play. I hate big kids. They never give you a chance. They'll play all day. Just you watch. They'll hog the courts all day. They'll just keep on playing and playing. They'll never... It's simple, Charlie Brown. We escort the queen and her attendants to the dance after the game. Sure, Charlie Brown, she's the homecoming queen, and you're supposed to escort her to the ball. She's your date, Charlie Brown. You missed the ball, Charlie Brown. They ran right over you. They're on our five-yard line. Sure, Charlie Brown, at the dance, you're supposed to walk up to the queen, and then she'll take your arm, and then you'll escort her to the dance floor. And then before the dance... On returning to school after summer vacation, no one can deny the joys of a summer vacation with its days of warmth and freedom. It must be admitted, however, that the true joy lies in returning to our halls of learning. Is not life itself a learning process? Do we not mature according to our learning? Do not each of us desire that he learn more each day? Yes, ma'am. Oh, why, thank you. Have you two lost your minds? It's Halloween night! On Halloween night, the great pumpkin rises out of the pumpkin patch that he picks as the most sincere. Then he flies through the air, bringing toys to all the good children in the world. Good grief! Doesn't anyone believe me? Won't anyone sit in the pumpkin patch with me? Just think, Snoopy. If he picks this pumpkin patch, you and I will get to see him in person. Why, this could be the most exciting... I really don't think you have anything to worry about, Charlie Brown. After all, science has shown that a person's character isn't really established until he is at least five years old. In examining a work such as Peter Rabbit, it is important that the superficial characteristics of its deceptively simple plot should not be allowed to blind the reader to its more substantial fabric of its deeper motivations. In this report, I plan to discuss the sociological implications have you two lost your minds? It's Halloween night! On Halloween night, the great pumpkin rises out of the pumpkin patch that he picks as the most sincere. Then he flies through the air, bringing toys to all the good children in the world. Good grief! Doesn't anyone believe me? Won't anyone sit in the pumpkin patch with me? Just think, Snoopy. If he picks this pumpkin patch, you and I will get to see him in person. Why, this could be the most exciting... Did you have fun on the swings yesterday, Janice? Boy, we can go higher than anybody, Janice. It's fun pushing you. I'm glad the teacher told us why Janice hasn't come back. I was right. She really did have a fever. I can't believe she ended up in the hospital. Leukemia? How can they just tell you you have cancer? Well, maybe they're wrong. I'm glad you're gonna get well. 
And I hope it's soon, because we really miss you at school. You get well, Janice, and I'll push you on those swings forever. I thought that was a meal without wine. Hi, Charlie Brown. Sure, Charlie Brown. The dog's name is Snoopy. While you were talking to the man, I was looking through their records. Someone else bought this dog, but then returned him. You got a used dog, Charlie Brown. You certainly have an unusual dog, Charlie Brown. What's the matter with Snoopy, Charlie Brown? Well, he's your dog, Charlie Brown. Let's see that. Wow! A new bicycle and a trip to the Super Bowl. Whoever wins here gets a chance to be in the finals at the Super Bowl. I think one of us can do it, Charlie Brown. We're both good passers and kickers. Who is that, Charlie Brown? She's cute, isn't she? Do you like Hot Fudge Sundays, Melody? Melody, Melody, I think you're the most beautiful little girl I've ever seen. The moon, the stars, roasted marshmallows over an open fire. Times like these make me ponder life's bigger questions. I think I'll write to Pigpen and tell him all about what I did at camp today. Snoopy, take a letter. Dear Pigpen, I couldn't wait to use my new camera today. Hold still, Charlie Brown. Smile, I'm taking pictures for my photo album. Hmm. Dear Santa Claus, how have you been? Please don't get the idea that I'm writing because I want something. Nothing could be further from the truth. I want nothing. Spend your time elsewhere. Don't bother with me. I really mean it. If you want to skip our house this year, go right ahead. I won't be offended. Really, I won't. I'm hoping that he'll find my attitude peculiarly refreshing. I kind of like the new girl who sits behind me in class. What's her name? Where did you get all those marbles, Rerun? At the trading post. There's only one marble left. His coach gave him the go-ahead. You won't believe it. Charlie Brown actually won something. He won all of Rerun's marbles back for him. Mr. Chairman, teachers, and fellow students, this will be my last speech before our election. I want to talk to you this morning about the Great Pumpkin. Halloween will soon be with us. On Halloween night, the Great Pumpkin rises out of the pumpkin patch and brings toys to all the good little children. All right, say it. Go ahead and say it. I know you want to say it. I talked too much and I blew the election. So go ahead. Security. Who among you doesn't depend on someone or something to help you get through the day? Who among you can cast the first stone? How about you, Sally? You with your endless sweet baboos. Or you, Schroeder? You with your Beethoven, Beethoven, Beethoven! Hey, Charlie Brown. Still no luck, huh? Oh, no, remember, it's the courage to continue oh. that count! Hey. Listen, Charlie Brown. Ignoring what my sister Lucy says has enabled me to make it this far in life. I just hope you'll have an open mind about the great pumpkin. Look on the bright side, Charlie Brown. They say there's no such thing as bad publicity. You know, Charlie Brown, if you like her so much, why not just walk up to her and introduce yourself? Charlie Brown, you're being ridiculous. You're the only... This is the time of year to write to the great pumpkin. It's almost Halloween. And on Halloween night, the Great Pumpkin rises out of the pumpkin patch. Then he flies through the air to bring toys to all the good little children everywhere. Dear Great Pumpkin, you must get discouraged because more people believe in Santa Claus than in you. Well, let's face it, Santa Claus has had more publicity. But be this is the time of year to write to the Great Pumpkin. It's almost Halloween. And on Halloween night, the Great Pumpkin rises out of the pumpkin patch. Then he flies through the air to bring toys to all the good little children everywhere. Dear Great Pumpkin, you must get discouraged because more people believe in Santa Claus than in you. Well, let's face it.
Santa Claus has had more publicity, but being a strange creature in your nest. When there's a strange creature in your nest, it's almost always a hedge toad. So it's up there. The obvious thing to do is to get a ladder. We're getting there, Snoopy. We're going to climb the street and find out who's in Woodstock's nest. Snoopy! Snoopy? Do you see Woodstock's nest? Where are you? Snoopy? Snoopy? Counting sheep is a good idea. Although I feel a little better about waking the sheep. This assignment is actually a great opportunity for you, Charlie Brown. It's a chance to ask yourself some of life's most essential questions. Who am I? Why am I here? What is my purpose in the world? Well, Charlie Brown, when I'm faced with difficult questions, I look to the great minds of history. The Spanish novelist Miguel de Cervantes once wrote, Tell me what company you keep, and I'll tell you what you are. It means you should look to your friends, Charlie Brown. The people you spend your time with. Maybe they can help.